I'm RMAC Commissioner Chris Graham. Our 15 member institutions continue to bring you free RMAC Network webcasts. Our goal is to deliver quality video to promote the performances and achievements of our student athletes. The promotion, production, and delivery of these events requires funding. While regular season webcasting remains free, beginning this year, our league shall charge a nominal fee for viewers of our championships and tournaments. Please follow the information below, including Huddle and RMAC Network contacts should you need any assistance in the postseason. Thank you for supporting the RMAC Network. We welcome you in to Colorado Springs, Colorado for the RMAC season opener between the University of Colorado Springs, Colorado, the Mountain Lions welcome and play host to the visiting Colorado School of Mines or Diggers as we have a beautiful night. My name is Brian Geenan. We we'll welcome you into Mountain Lions Stadium here on the campus of Colorado Springs. It's a beautiful night. The sun just went down over the mountains, and we will welcome you in to another season of RMAC College Soccer. In just a few moments, we'll get you the starting lineups and everything to get underway here in just a few minutes. Once again, my name is Brian Geenan, and we will get started here in just a few moments. The ore diggers have come in as a 15 seed in this week's rankings, dropping down 13 spots. They were originally a number two seed in this week's United Soccer Coaches top 25 rankings. Started at number two before dropping a game earlier this month as they played host to Seattle Pacific, losing that one at home two to one. But other than that, Mines has been incredibly impressive thus far, starting off their season with three straight wins. Well, the Mountain Lions sit at two wins, two losses, and two draws. The starting lineups, first for the visiting team, Colorado School of Mines in the net. It's double zero, Sadie Wolf, the sophomore goalkeeper. In defense, it'll be number two, Katie Kaler, number three, Callie Fuhr. Number seven, Natalie Rouse. Number nine, Elise Putnam. Number 10, Bella Campos up top. Four goals on the season to Campos' name. Number 12 will be Afton Rasco. Number 19, Reese McDermott. Number 20, Ava Harmon. Number 24 is Lauren Klingman. And number 32 is Landry Corbett as we are just about to get underway as the referees ready their watches. Starting lineup for the home team. In the net, it'll be number one, Isabella Whitmore, the grad goalkeeper who has started all six games. This will be the seventh. Number two is Jade Kinsey. Number five, Abby Barheit. Number six is Fee Steinberg. Number seven, Kaylin Levi. Number eight is Emily Aguilar. Mount Lions will start off on offense here, rounding out the rest of the team. Number 11 is Lizzie Jarzeski. Number 13, Jessica Rockwell. Number 16, Anna Vince. Number 18, Danea Wong Yuen. And number 21, Michaela Merlot. Mount Lions are coached by J.B. Belzer in his third season as the women's head coach here for the Mount Lions. As we had a lot of information to get through, but we are well underway here. Mines getting the offensive pressure early. And the Mount Lions will attempt to clear here. Mountain Lions tied their last game. They played at St. Mary's in Texas. Drew that one one to one. After picking up two wins, a big one against number nine, Point Loma, earlier in the season. This one's pushed up forward. And Wolf will collect. Just about a minute and a half into the RMAC home opener for the Mountain Lions. This is 
Mines first away game of the season. As down the wing is Klingman. Klingman looking in for McDermott. Dermon, fancy footwork, but cleaned up well by the Mountain Lion defense. The visiting Mines are coached by Kevin Fickus, an impressive resume for the 15th season head coach, 24th overall season with Colorado School of Mines. North Carolina native, an impressive, impressive list of accolades for both of the coaches here this evening. Some early pressure on the sideline. Mountain Lions wearing the black with the gold numbers. As pushing forward is Aguilar out to the wing. Backside is Steinberg. This one's cycled. The Mountain Lions doing a good job of keeping that box around the top of this defense. Out wide for Steinberg, the captain. We'll try to put some moves on the defender here down that left wing, onto the left foot, off the defender, and out for a throw and looked from this vantage point like it might have gone off of Steinberg, but we'll get the benefit of the doubt there. Some push forward. And well controlled by Levi, back for Merlot, and back to the Mountain Lion defense. Mountain Lion's moving the ball around with some quick passes here early. A good sign for the home team. Mountain Lions are in the midst of homecoming weekend coming up this Upcoming weekend, that one's pushed into the middle. The Mountain Lion fan base has shown up well tonight. As the festivities get started, some other sports action this weekend as well. As that one goes out for a throw. Four minutes into the first half. Some good pressure from the Mountain Lions, able to possess well. Mines has been excellent all season. That's why they're ranked 15th. They will be ready. This one is hoofed forward. A tough one and well dealt with by Whitmore. Isabella Whitmore, the grad goalkeeper out of Arlington, Texas. Came over from Southern Utah University, has started in all seven games now for the Mountain Lions. Seven goals against for the Netminder, 77% save percentage. And has been pretty much a staple in net with 88 minutes of each of these games. Mines will be looking to avenge their loss earlier this month. A tough one they dropped at home against Seattle Pacific. But that will make them all the more dangerous this evening. Nice turn by Aguilar up for Steinberg. Steinberg will reset. Back in that left back spot is Inaya Wong Yuan, the redshirt freshman out of Hilo, Hawaii. So this one goes back all the way to Whitmore. Well flicked on and possessed by the Mountain Lions and lost. Some good defensive effort from Elise Putnam. Putnam, the Austin, Texas product, junior midfielder, finds Klingman. And we'll go out for a throw in, I believe. Klingman throws in, finds Putnam. Well cleaned up by Rasco. 
This one is just a little too far and the Mountain Lions will take over. Sun just went down before we went live. Lucky enough to get some beautiful weather this evening as fall starts to fall upon Colorado Springs. As trying to switch was Vince unable to do so. This one's pushed wide by Kinsey. Jade Kinsey, the redshirt senior out of right here in Colorado Springs. One of the staples of the defense for this Mountain Lion team has played 86 minutes in each of the six games, getting the start again. A lot of confidence from Belzer in that defense. As that one's headed away, well done. Steinberg clears. Mines wearing the white jerseys with the checkered black and white sleeves. Mountain Lions in the black and gold as we near the eight minute mark in this one. Mountain Lions working north to south. Nice pass there into the middle and it's dispossessed there by Mines, well done by Levi to clear that one. Campos the throw in, finds Rasco, and another great clearance by Taylor and Levi. Levi getting the sixth start of the season. Nice move there from Steinberg to clear. The Mountain Lions will have a fresh slate. Mountain Lions doing a great job of passing so far. Able to find some pockets here. Got some nice pressure on goal forward against Wolf, but nothing doing yet as Mines dispossesses here. Driving forward McDermott. And well done by Michaela Merlot, the redshirt junior. Dispossessed. Rasco, some fancy footwork there into the middle. Finds McDermott. And out wide for Fior. Corbett in the middle. A goal and two assists to her name. Well done into the box and cleared back out. Strike from distance. Nothing doing as Putnam puts that one wide. Well, we have our first shot of the evening. The visiting mines put a lot of shots on target. 132 attempted shots already this season. They're averaging 2.83 goals per game is exactly what head coach Fickus was hoping for with this roster. This one's tapped forward and will find its way all the way back for Wolf. Well done there to keep it at midfield. Partnership in the back for this Mines team. It's number two, Katie Kaler. Appears to be wearing the captain's band. Alongside her is sophomore out of Colorado Springs, Callie Fuhr. Well done there, Levi spreads. Mines Wong Yuen 
Back for Merlot. Long Yuan again. Up for Barheit. Great bit of passing there. Barheit back in the middle once again. Has a little bit. Well closed there by Rasko. But a foul is drawn. And the Mountain Lions will have a free kick from a very dangerous position. Didn't look like much from this point, but the referee tonight, Kevin Lewis, says Mountain Lions will have a chance here. On the free kick is the sophomore midfielder from the UK, Anna Bentz. Bentz has three assists. Two of her six shots have been on goal this season. And now Merlot will come over and have a word with Vince. Vince will line it up. Vince shoots and puts one in the back of the net. Anna Vince with a free kick goal of the dreams will get a caravan back celebrating her first goal of the season. A wonderful, wonderful free kick. And the Mountain Lions have the lead here at home. Anna Vince collects the goal. A beautiful free kick over the top, the left side of the wall. We'll see if there's a replay, but an absolutely brilliant shot on target. And there was absolutely nothing Wolf could do in net. It's the Mountain Lions score at the 12 minute mark. And Vince will get credit for that one. So the Mountain Lions take the lead, one nothing early here in this one. The RMAC home opener. And it's gonna be some work here for the Mines to come back from this one. They do average almost three goals a game, so it is definitely, definitely a lot of time left in this matchup. Nice link up play down the left side of the field. As Mines will work left to right into the box for Putnam. Putnam will go out wide for Fior. Fior up the line and cut out there by the Mount Lions. Well done defensively from that Colorado Springs back line. Well collected in the midfield and spread out wide for Steinberg. What well, looked like Steinberg started out on the left side has now switched spots with number five, that's Abby Barheit. Head coach JB Belzer saw something there, I suppose, and as this one's pushed forward in a dangerous spot here. Collected, well done. Great defensive effort and that one will be cleared out wide. Nice shot from our camera staff to get that beautiful skyline as well as this awesome game this, this evening. As the Mountain Lions have a one to nothing lead here Coming up on the 15 minute mark, this one long throw in and well cleared by the Mountain Lion defense. Mountain Lions playing incredibly well so far. A lot of great pressure, beautiful flick pass there. Mountain Lions will go up the line. Well done from Herman to get it up forward. And it'll be back for Fear. She'll send one in. Nothing doing as Whitmore will collect. So that free kick goal from Anna Vince in the 13th minute, fifth point of the season. 
as Mines will put on some pressure here. A shot from distance blocked once again by the Mountain Lions. Vince, five points, had three assists, as I mentioned, and did not have a goal this season to her name, but will get recorded certainly with a wonderful one there. They won't say how it scored, but certainly one that she's going to be happy with tomorrow. Flicked on well, collected in the box by McDermott. But the Mountain Lion defense will usher it out, and Whitmore will get the goal kick. Mountain Lions starting Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference play at home this year. They will face off against Western Colorado later on this homecoming weekend on Sunday afternoon. Mines will stay on the road as well, playing on Sunday in Pueblo against CSU Pueblo. But they will have a task here as they are down one early off the Vince free kick. Spread wide for Wang Yuan. Tough pass in the middle. And Aguilar does a good job to collect that one for a throw in. Emily Aguilar, the sophomore midfielder out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, one goal on the season, plays about well, just, share, just shy of the hour mark in each of these games. Picking up her fifth start of the year. Mines working south to north. I'll tell you what, the mountain lions have just kind of been putting pressure on every single pass imaginable this evening. We'll see how long that can last a, a tall effort here, 6,000 plus elevation at Mountain Lion Stadium. No easy task for any team, even the home team. Scrum in the middle, collected by Levi, back for Merlot. Mountain Lions have done a good job of Going backwards to go forwards. Haven't had a whole lot of offensive pressure besides that free kick, which is just outside of the area. But have certainly possessed a massive amount in this one. Merlot. Beautiful move through the legs and a great clearance. Defensively from Katie Kaler, earns herself the free kick. Katie Kaler, the Woodlands, Texas product, senior defender, has a goal and an assist, even out of a defensive position. And getting that captain armband from Kevin Fickis tonight. Well turned there, and it'll go out wide for Klingman. Klingman up the line for Rasco. Rasco driving in, back heel, but the run wasn't continued, and the mountain lines collect. It's the 17th year that these two head coaches have matched up Vickis and Belzer have a long history, both of them do, in the RMAC, as well as outside of it. Well into the box there. Whitmore will gather that one. Vickis, an impressive list of accolades. Has five RMAC regular season title and eight RMAC tournament titles. Pretty much unheard of. 12 NCAA tournament appearances, including a Final Four appearance back in 2014. There's a strike from distance. 
Nothing doing there. And Wolf gets the free goal kick. On the other side for the Mountain Lions, J.B. Belzer. In just his third season with the Mountain Lions, but had 24 seasons with Regis. Has 23 winning seasons with the RMAC Coach of the Year six times. Did Belzer. Had four RMAC Player of the Years, three RMAC Defensive Player of the Years, seven RMAC Freshman of the Year. And you can go on and on about both of these coaches, just impressive resumes all around. As their soccer minds will go head to head tonight as we are just past the 20 minute mark. Mount Lions scored back in the 13th minute. For those of you just joining us on events with a beautiful free kick. And just outside the area. As referee Kevin Lewis says, why don't you back on up there? Officials for tonight's match, Kevin Lewis out in the middle, Thomas Roth, Barry Wilhelm, and Scott Stagger. And those lime green officials uniforms. So these two teams have met 24 times. This will be the 25th, a strike. Whitmore, well positioned and well collected. These teams have met 25 times, as I mentioned, 17 wins for the visiting mines, seven for Colorado Springs. Last time these two teams faced off was back in November of the 2022 season. And as Mines came and won that one two to one. Mount Lions win that one back. Beautiful turn there from Aguilar. A great pass out to the wing. And Steinberg will make some moves. Steinberg driving hard. Back out wide for Aguilar. Aguilar turns in as Putnam sticks a foot in and the referee says, all ball, much to the anguish of this home crowd. Mountain Lions fans have showed up very well tonight, supporting their team this homecoming weekend. So they have a matchup against a top 25 opponent. Long Yuen drives up from that spot Swings one in, and that'll go back out wide for Steinberg. Steinberg swings one in, and it will find the end line for a goal kick. Mines won the last matchup two to one. As they traveled up to Colorado Springs for that one, about an hour drive from Golden, Colorado. And this another example of the effort there as Merlot is able to dispossess Reese McDermott. Springs have been very calm under pressure. Swinging the ball around behind their lines. Well won there by Mines. Once Mines collects there, they didn't have much to go on and had to just push it forward. Steinberg looking up, trying to flick. Onward was Rockwell. But the other way is Corbett. Corbett looking for a break and another one where mines are able to possess, but not quite able to link up just yet. Whitmore will collect, discussing some game strategy with her defenders. We'll go wide for Wong Yuen. Nice switch of play there. Wong Yuen out wide. And it'll be a throw in.
Just about five minutes away from the half hour mark. Looks like might be some substitutions here from the visiting team. Coach Fickus may be looking for a little spark off the bench early, as this one will find a little bit of a pocket. And it'll go into a dangerous spot in the box, but unable to do anything as the Mountain Lions cleared by Rouse, only as far as Abby Barheight with some fancy moves. We'll have a chance to showcase once again. We'll possess. And we'll go back out for Merlot. Merlot driving. Bit of speed. Swings it in with the right. Can't find a mountain lion. Now it will. <laughs> Levi and Merlot have put in a shift to start this one. Steinberg will collect the free kick. Fee Steinberg out of Denmark, junior midfielder, reassists Steinberg's name. Looking for another one out on that wing, and we'll go to the right. Swings one in, in a dangerous spot here. And out for a corner kick, the first of this our Mac home opener. Steinberg was looking for someone, but we'll call over Nanea Wong Yuan. Yuan, excuse me, for the corner kick. It'll be an in swinger from the red shirt fresh, freshman. Mount Lions packed up now. A run in. Dangerous spot here. It's loose in the box, cleared. Vince will collect. And cycle back to keep possession. Those are the ones that make a big difference later on in the game as driving hard is Abby Barheit. Fancy footwork. We'll find a pocket. Gets a little bit of a push. We'll send it out wide for Levi. And well won by the visitors. Driving up the left sideline, Bella Campos. Campos, four goals, one assist, a dangerous, dangerous player. And this, Armac, to be sure, will certainly be a threat all season. Well won there from Levi. Hard tackle to be sure, but nothing doing, says the ref. Great bit of passing once again from the Mountain Lions. Just seem to find themselves able to possess and pass out of danger. So we're a minute out from the half hour mark. Wong Ewan will reset. Yeah, the main goal scorers for the visiting Mines. Bella Campos leads the way with four. You see a little bit why there. Some good, solid footwork as this one's up the sideline and just a little bit too far. Campos has those four goals and an assist. There's multiple, multiple ways that this Mines team is able to do damage. Maurice McDermott, three goals and three assists. Or McDermott, three goals for Natalie Rouse, a redshirt sophomore. And two more goals for Chloe Seltzer, who did not get the start today. Seltzer has been a dangerous player, hasn't actually started in any games. His visitors were threatening there, but once again, well defended by the Mount Lions. Colorado Springs has 10 goals on the season. They're averaging about just a little over one and a half goals while limiting opponents to about a goal a game. So this one's pushed forward and Merlot will draw the free kick. 30 minutes away here 
and the opener of conference play for some Division II soccer. Oh, beautiful, beautiful link up play. Barheit down the left sideline, steps over in a dangerous spot and will win a free kick. Beautiful, beautiful pass in there as Barheit goes one, two up the sideline and it'll be out for a corner kick. Steinberg will opt for the duties of the corner kick. Mount Lions opting for one defender on the netminder. About six in the box. This one's in a bad spot. Cleared by the defense. Bit of a heap down there. Steinberg well turned. Some good pressure into the box. Back stick and a beautiful defensive clearance. Natalie Rouse, the redshirt sophomore, is able to keep that one out of harm's way. Only for so long, Steinberg wants it again. This one swung into the box. Dangerous spot once again, and excellent clearance from Callie Fear. Merlot looking for something into the box in a dangerous spot. And it'll be out the back, and we will have some substitutions here for the visitors. Get you those substitutions in just a second. So it'll be number 14, Paula Ruby. Number 17, Chloe Seltzer, the goal scorer that I just mentioned. And rounding out two more, it'll be Caitlin Menalili. And number three, 33, excuse me, Laura Butler. So some early changes, four substitutions for Ficus. As we are 33 minutes into this Division II affair. Wang Yuan putting the moves on. Substitute Caitlin Menalili. Menalili, the sophomore midfielder out of Shoreline, Washington. Started five of the six games and didn't get to start this evening, but will definitely have an impact. Some mountain lines putting pressure and well dealt with by Mines. Tough collision there. One and collected by Aguilar. Aguilar, most of this midfield, excuse me. Aguilar, Levi, Merlot have just been so intense. When an opposing player gathers the ball, you'll see it there again. Can win the ball and up the sideline. And cleared. Laura Butler, the junior, out of Chicago, Illinois. Has played over 45 minutes just once, but averages about 35 minutes a game. We'll get a chance to make an impact. Great touch at first, but Mines does well to clean that one up. Beautiful find, beautiful touch. And a great pass cut out by Wang Yuan. Out wide for fear. To be cleared only as far as Campos. Excuse me, that's Harmon in the midfield. Sideline play. The Mount Lions will win that one. See if they can possess out of a tight corner. And they are able to. Whole lot of green grass out on the left side. Aguilar out wide for Barheit. Bar height for Merlot. And Merlot for Aguilar. Mount Lions have taken risks attacking defenders, opting to 
put the moves on kind of on these wings, which is where I'm sure was a game, pl game plan, excuse me. Not opting for any risky moves out in the midfield where a lot of teams can get caught up and we'll have some substitutions. Lions. Number nine, Caitlin Hinkle. So it'll be number nine, Caitlin Hinkle. And number 14, Sella Freeman. And number 14, that's Sella Freeman. Hinkle, the redshirt junior out of Pueblo, Colorado. Sela Freeman, the freshman forward out of Eugene, Oregon. Freeman was one of the names that was on my list, certainly, for potential starters, did not get the nod this evening. Started six out of six games for the Mountain Lions and Belzer squad, but didn't get the call tonight. Beautiful turn there from bar height and a great defensive effort there. Caitlin Manalili able to clear that one out. So it'll be a throw in on the near side. All right, we'll go back from Merlot. And Merlot will cycle over to Levi. Levi out wide for Steinberg. Once again, Steinberg and Barheide able, gotten the green light here to make some moves, attack in those dangerous positions. Midfielders have been excellent for both teams, but Mountain Lions have certainly possessed as we near the 40 minute mark. This one over the head, still in a dangerous spot here. Forced to clear was Caitlin Kaler. And Hinkle will put it out for a goal kick. Just about Seven minutes remain in the first half of this one. Mount Lions had pressure early, still have put a lot of pressure on this ranked Mines team. But the difference so far was Anna Vince, about 24 yards out, putting one over the top of the wall, just to the right of the keeper, Wolf, to give her team the advantage early in this one. That was back in the 13th minute. We'll get a free kick here as Harmon stands over this one. A lot of white jerseys up. Harmon floats this one in. Dangerous spot here. Calling for a handball potentially, but nothing doing once again. Fear forced to put this one up. Dangerous spot here. Whitmore out to collect. And we'll take a second now. Isabella Whitmore has faced about 60 shots this year. Has conceded seven goals. None yet in RMAC play as this marks the home opener. Controlled there by Whitmore, who will pick up now. Game plan so far for the ore diggers was, has been, excuse me, kind of to float some over the top, have not been able to possess as the mountain line midfield has been working hard to make sure that doesn't happen out wide for bar height. Once again, bar height onto the right. Step over, cut out. Great work there from Cali Fuhr. Up the sideline, Mena Lily. Beautiful footwork on the other side as well. That one will get cut out. It looks like we'll have, look like a foul from this point. We'll see if that's a throw in. But either way, visiting Mines pushing forward now. Free kick once again, about the same distance out from the last one, Neva Harmon. Senior defender will float this one in. Once again, Whitmore stays in net. Only as far as 22. 
A shot low from Chloe Seltzer, unable to find the target. As we are five minutes away from halftime in this RMAC season opener. Two shots apiece for both of these teams, but I believe the only one on net so far has been, well, there have been a few that have been blocked. Certainly both teams have put their bodies on the line to defend some of these shots from distance, but Vince's effort was the only one that has found the target, I believe. Ball will go to Mines. Throwing up the sideline. One by Paolo Ruby. Ruby forward and cut out. But Ruby is able to grab that one again. We'll swing for Fear. Fear out wide for Manalili. Manalili onto the right. Pressure from Barheit tracking back well. Barheit. Well done defensively. Mount Lion coaching staff got to be happy with that one. As we will have a corner kick from number 17, Chloe Seltzer. Seltzer will opt for an in swinger. We'll go short now. In for Manalili out back for Seltzer. Seltzer swings in, back stick, and cleared away for another corner. as Emily Aguilar and this Mountain Lion midfield putting in a shift. We'll get another corner opposite side now. Butler sends one in, unable to do anything, still live in a dangerous spot and it'll just be pushed forward. Well done from Hinckley there, but gives it away in the final third. Big cross there as Paulo Ruby Went left to right and tried to put that one in a dangerous spot. We'll have two minutes left here in the first half of this one. Mount Lions will want to keep the ball on the other side for sure. The Steinberg in a dangerous spot. Well cut out there. Danger still awry. But it'll be cleared. Manalili will see what she can do here. Well done, great possession. Just what you want to ask for, but cut out once again. As Merlot is able to win that one back for her team. And it and a half. Some pressure. Dealt with out wide. Mount Lions will See if we'll, they'll put something up here. And it'll be out for a throw in. One minute remaining in the half. One minute remaining. Just about 50 seconds for either team to mount a class first half effort. Man Lily out wide. Fear will swing in, cleared by the Mountain Lions. It's 40 seconds now. Great possession here. Mountain Lions will opt to push one forward. Hinkle in a dangerous spot, but Levi, excuse me, Rouse fourth. Mines will clear now. Good effort there from Ruby. Able to win her team the ball. 15 seconds. Going to need a shot here back for Ruby. Out wide for Fior. 10 seconds. Ruby will have a strike. Dangerous spot still. And it's off the bar. Unable to find the back of the net. Oh, my goodness. Two seconds on the clock when that one was struck. We'll see if we could even make out what happened there. But in the dying seconds of the first half, Colorado School of Mines almost able to mark one down on the board. The Mountain Lions, after one half of play, will continue to maintain this lead. The difference thus far, a 13th minute goal for 
Anna Vince. Sophomore midfield, they're able to put a free kick in. That's the only tally on the score sheet today. So the Mountain Lions will certainly be pleased with that first half of play as the Colorado School of Mines will attempt to collect some thoughts and we'll see what Kevin Fickus will draw up in the second half for the visiting teams. Instant replay. Throw in from a dangerous spot. Butler with that flip throw puts one into the box. I missed that one. And here is the only highlight thus far on the offensive side on events. Right foot, back of the net. Beautiful free kick there from about 25 yards out. Number 16 on the score sheet. Just a few more shots on effort from this visiting team. Fear into the box. This was the one to end the half. Just kind of got caught up and Putnam almost flicked it in. Well defended, we'll get another angle here. Just kind of got caught up in the feet. Whitmore couldn't do anything putting him off the bar and then had a chance on the back post, did Butler, but an almost heroic effort there on the back stick from this mountain lion defense. So 45 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. We will be back in about oh, 13 minutes. The players will get some electrolytes, get some water, and we will return with 45 more minutes of our Mac. Action here from Mountain Lion Stadium. Still Magnolias is a story about sisterhood. It is a story about friends who are your family members. The cast is phenomenal. These women are just amazing in all the talent that they have to offer. They are hilarious. Um, the things that everybody has come up with are so unique. I hope audiences take away the story of black women and our stories through our hair and our stories through the beauty shop.
Welcome back to Mountain Lion Field for the second half of action between the home team who is up one, the Mountain Lions of Colorado Springs and the visiting team in the white jerseys. That's the Colorado School of Mines or Diggers as we have 45 more minutes. High pace division two action for you coming up in just a few seconds. Mountain Lions got off to a lead early on. A 13 minute goal for Anna Vince was able to turn one in from about 25 yards off a free kick. Put one past the Mines keeper, Sadie Wolf. And a quick scrum at the end of the first half, about seven or eight seconds were on the clock when Paolo Ruby was able to put one in a dangerous position. Police putting them almost able to turn one in. And another close effort at the back stick, but the Mountain Lions able to keep it out of their own net. They will switch sides. The Mountain Lions in the black and gold uniforms. The visiting Mines are in the white jerseys. Welcome you back. Colorado Springs, as the night cools off here in Colorado. And this second half is sure to be full of action as these two teams will want to pick up a win here. Mines, as I mentioned back in the first half, ranked 15th, dropped 13 places in the rankings this week after losing the Seattle Pacific, and there's an early call for a free kick for the visitors. Over the free kick, senior defender Harmon will get the honors once again. Both teams about at the box will make a run in now into a dangerous spot, cleared away by Kinsey, only as far as bar height, and well won on the far side. As Mana Lily is able to get that one back for the visiting or diggers. Swung in now, Whitmore, dangerous spot. That was in on net almost. Whitmore still a scrum, finally able to collect. Was the grab goalkeeper. That one was in a very, very dangerous position and Jade Kinsey experienced some discomfort there with the left arm, but we'll play it back to her now. So very, very dangerous spot on that free kick from Harmon, able to find a fortuitous bounce, but Whitmore able to keep the sheet clean so far. Now switch of play. And the defender, Taylor, will have to put that one out for a throw in. Quick throw in by Hinkle. Steinberg wins, sends one in, and cleared away. Only as far as Steinberg, Steinberg will drive one in low again. And it'll be out for a Mines throw in. In the left back spot there, Lauren Klingman, Jr. plays both in the midfield and defensively for the visiting Mines. Out of Broomfield, Colorado, had an assist earlier in the year in the route versus Colorado State as a player is down that appears to be the junior, Reese McDermott. Mount Lions will throw in again. Well done there as Ruby is able to possess. We'll look for a switch of play. Out wide for Mana Lily. Mana Lily with the right, steps over, finds a pass. Edge of the box, back out for Mana Lily. Swung in with the right. Back stick, touched away there as Sheila Freeman came on as a substitute in the first half. Wins that one. Well done, Steinberg on the block. Butler swings in. It's cleared. 
Go back for Steinberg, who's looking for something upfield. And on the field for the second half is number 23. That'll be Ciara Garcia. Freshman forward will get some minutes here in the RMAC opener. Well done there. McDermott drives, but one back by Freeman. Pushing forward now. Nifty handles there from Aguilar. We'll get the mountain lines out of trouble for the time being. Mountain Lions coaching staff. J.B. Belzer at the helm. And as we'll pause here as the Mines look for something here on the offensive side. Butler on target. Whitmore able to collect the effort at the end of the day. So Belzer at the helm, assisted by Justin Stones. Volunteer coach is Jordan Zand. Graduate assistant. Marissa Williams and the student assistant, Malia Ramdani. On the opposing side is the head coach, Kevin Pickus. We talked about him in the first half as Mount Lions will push forward here and it'll go back for Mines. Assisting Kevin Fickus, it'll be Shannon Davu, Brent McGee and Emily Townsend. as the visiting minds have put together an excellent effort so far this season, only dropping that one game earlier this month. Three convincing wins to start off the season. Four nothing, four nothing, four nothing. For drawing number three team in the country at the time, Dallas Baptist. And resuming their winning ways against Western Washington for losing a home game two to one. Whitmore will play it for Freeman. Freeman out for Vince, the goal scorer. Scored that free kick in the 13th minute to give the Mountain Lions the lead early. About 50 minutes into this one, out on the wing is Hinkle, just choosing to possess for now. We'll go backwards for Vince, and now for Merlot. Well done to maintain possession. Beautiful pass up the sideline and unable to continue the run there, and it'll go out for a goal kick. Some first half stats for you. The Mountain Lions possessed 62% as opposed to the 38% on the other side for Mines. Mountain Lions only had two total shots, one on target, where Mines had six with one on target as well. Only forced to save from Whitmore on one of those efforts. Pair of corners for both teams. And beyond the free kick and that scare at the end of the second half, end of the first half, excuse me. This game has been a battle in the midfield and out on these wings. Freeman. Back for Kinsey. Kinsey playing that central center back position. Unable to get it past. Mines there and we'll go the other way. Ruby on the ball. Back some nifty footwork there. Shot on target. Just wide as Elise Putnam who had that effort. So I was just talking about at the end of the first half. Takes one from distance, but unable to put it on target. Fifty-three minutes, as you can see on that scoreboard. 
will decide how both of these teams start their conference season. Mountain Lions came into this with two wins, two losses, two draws. This would be a pretty monumental win for the program if Belzer and his team are able to win this one against top-ranked Mines. Whitmore out and collects. Long Ewan will push that one forward. Mines have been very solid to start the second half. A lot of pressure, especially on this back line. You know, a matchup between these two coaches will certainly force adjustments and adjustments to adjustments, and so on and so forth. The Mines have clearly been the better team to start this second half. And on the wing, Klingman out wide for Butler. Butler on the left, swings in, out to Putnam. Putnam at the top of the box, wants the right foot, now to the left, and cleared now. Big shot on target, Whitmore has gotta be careful, and of course is so with that one. Fifty-five minutes, as you can see on our scoreboard. A big thank you to our team this evening. Shots have been excellent. Tough night here as the sun went down just before kickoff. Mines pressuring now. Out wide, Putnam. Swings in, Wang Yuena, unable to deal. Ruby, and finally cleared by Vince. Mines have been the aggressor so far in the second half. At just 40% possession. And Coach Fick has wanted more from the team and he's got it so far. In that first half, we saw a lot of those over the top balls from the visiting team. But the role has been reversed early. Kaler in the middle. McDermott wins the foul against Vince. They'll go out wide for Manalili. Manalili onto the right, just outside the box and unable to keep it in play. It'll be out for a goal kick, well defended. Dangerous, dangerous pass there. Vince did well to deal, but Mountain Lions have to be careful putting a pass into the middle like that, especially with midfielder turned back towards the own goal. Mena Lilly out for Ruby. Ruby keeps the body in front. We'll go out wide now. Klingman. Up against two mountain lines, does well. Out for Butler. Butler wants it on the left. We'll swing one in. Dangerous spot in the box. And out for a goal kick. As Mines is unable to get on the end of that one. With anything convincing. More, giving some instructions, and we'll put one out towards midfield. Mines have lived in this final third. Well done there. From the junior forward, Ruby. Now wide, Butler. Butler once left. And Freeman is happy to oblige. That one's out for a throw. 
Klingman will come up for the throw in. Ruby to her right. Butler in the box, and now Putnam will come close. They'll go back out. Swung in, Klingman. Cleared well by the Mountain Lions. Kinsey has come up in a big, big moment when the opportunity has arisen. That's a great takedown there from the Mountain Lions. Just what they needed to get this offense going. They've been taking shots, and this one's up and unable to collect the ball up top. Mount Lions will continue to possess. Smirlo will drive, continue the run, and that one will roll, roll, roll for a goal kick. That whole offensive movement for the Mount Lions, kind of their first of the half was started in that midfield spot. They had a chance where it was kind of cleared to one of the midfielders. And instead of kind of just punting it forward, was able to take it down, bring it to feet, find a pass, and Mount Lions were able to connect some and have relieved some of that pressure now on this back line. But one quickly back, Butler, Mount Lions able to deal with that effort. Talked at length at the midfield of the Mount Lions in the first half. It's the Mines midfield who won the efforts now. Nice turn there. McDermott into the box, back stick, well collected there. As Isabella Whitmore able to grab that one. Comes up hobbling a little bit, but we'll certainly play on. Play it short, Whitmore wants to have her team continue to possess. And we'll now put one into the midfield. Better from the mountain lines there, able to get a head onto the ball. Making sure that pass from the goalkeeper doesn't fall is, is so important, able to push it forward or at least get near it, forces the opponent to take a step back or kind of take their mind off of it. Nice one, two there, shrugged off the ball. Will Steinberg, now wide for Butler. Butler swings in with the right, into the box. Into the box. And McDermott's unable to do anything. And there it is again, Mount Lions have to be able to make something out of that. But they will get a chance here as Fear clears into the student area. And we'll get some shouts from the crowd. Now checking in for the Mountain Lions. Number 13. Mount Lions will Jessica sub. Rockwell. Just Jessica Rockwell, who and played in the first half. Rockwell had about 36 minutes in the first half. And we will see the first from the junior forward, Jaden Ledoux. Colorado Springs product, one goal in three games played. This will be the fourth. Scored in the Route against Southwestern Oklahoma State. As Mount Lions won that one 5 1. A lot of names got on the score sheet with assists and goals in that game. This one will go out wide. Anna Lilly finds Ruby at the top of the box, tracking back, and well done to get in front of that one was Aguilar, but it, danger is not done yet. Out wide, Manalili into the box and cleared again by Freeman. A dangerous, dangerous play there. As the Mines will draw a free kick. Harmon has been the main taker of these 
short of attempts and we'll get the honor once again. Harmon with the right into the box. Dangerous spot and Mines was able to get onto the end of it in the form of a header from Natalie Rouse, but unable to put it on target. Mountain Lions will continue the substitutions. Number 10, Sydney Lassiter. That'll be number 10. Junior midfielder out of Colorado Springs. That's Sydney Lassiter. Lassiter also has a goal. Put one in the back of the net against Southwestern Oklahoma State as well. We'll try to relieve some of the pressure that Mines have put on in the first part of this second half. Quick clearance, Steinberg unable to keep it out. And Vince will get it back now. Nice pass there up to Steinberg. Steinberg up. We'll find Rockwell. Rockwell onto the right, into the box, and behind the goal goes that effort. And Mines will opt for a sub here early as well. UCCS is a proud member of NCAA Division II, celebrating its 50th anniversary during the 2023-24 academic year. D2 was established in 1973 as a home for colleges and universities to provide athletic scholarships, the flexibility to pursue unlimited academic paths and interactive community engagement to give student athletes a balanced experience they can make their own. Ready for another 50 years of success in Division II? Let's make it yours. 50 years of college athletics from the NCAA. Makes for incredible atmospheres like the one we have tonight here in Colorado Springs. Beautiful backdrop during the day, but the lights are on now. And this game is as tight as it will be all evening. Forward by Fear, out for Manalili. Chased by Steinberg. Steinberg's been all over the pitch today. Swung in by Fear. And trying to get on the end of it was McDermott. And Whitmore will extend to grab that one. Sixty six minutes played as we near the twenty minute mark. Mountain Lions hoping to pick up a win here. This would be a second win against ranked opponents this year, should the result stand. But the Colorado School of Mines has certainly been the aggressor. They are a tough team to keep out of the net as they put up almost three goals a game. So it'll be Callie Fear, sophomore defender up for this one. The back stick, Taylor wants it and Whitmore says I'll have that one. Whitmore just always seems to be in the right position. Has been excellent in goal, able to not only keep the ball out of the net so far, but kind of direct the team as is the goalkeeper's kind of title. But Manalili will drive here, pulling in to the back and trying to get on the back of that one was Butler. And that one will go all the way out, Butler. And I believe that was Abby Barheit tracking back for that one. Barheit able to get up and take away a very, very good chance for Mines. Butler for Putnam. 
Back for Klingman. This one will fall back to the Mountain Lions. And Merlot trying to get something going here, but at the end of the day, puts one back to Mines. Ruby. Out wide for Fear. We'll go to Manalili. Manalili's been excellent, putting crosses into dangerous spots. We'll drive in, draws two defenders, swings with the right. And we'll try to possess, and well done, just taking it away is Steinberg. Now a big cross, cleared away by Kinsey. This one will go out wide, Klingman and Rockwell battling. And well possessed there. The Mountain Lions, once again, they'll give it away. And they have been struggling to connect passes after winning the ball back. They've been good defensively, but need to step forward after they win one. Handball waved off. Ruby thought about lining one up. We'll go out wide for Fuhrer. And back for Manalili. Big cross, back stick. Once again, Barheit able to put off. The attacker, Butler, for just a second, and he'll be out for another throw. Mano Lilly has been fantastic down that right wing. Jolie Jircheck, number 27 for Mines, also getting a nod for the second half. Didn't play any in the first. And Freeman will clear this one forward. There's Jircheck. Sophomore defender out of Windsor, Colorado. Has an assist to the name. And we will get two substitutions here from the visitors. Now kick for the ore digger, number 12. So it'll be number 12, Napton Rasco. And it'll be number 32, Landry Corbett. Both of the two Mines players played in the first half. And we'll get some more minutes in the second. Slip throw into the box. Dangerous spot. Shout for a penalty, but the referee waves that one off. Another flip throw on that far sideline, but Mountain Lions able to cut it out. Well done there, Vince. This is where the Mountain Lions have struggled. They did so well in the first half. Great pass there. Far high tracking and a tough collision there. Referee will let it play on. And a big slide tackle. Well done defensively. As Sidney Lassiter are able to win the ball back. And this is where the Mountain Lions need to be better. They were so good in that first half, passing out of danger. Nice turn there. And then able to keep possession. And now they lose it. I'll tell you what, something certainly changed in the halftime discussion for Devin Pickus' squad because they are playing like a totally different team. They have put a ton of pressure on this midfield and certainly when the Mountain Lions are trying to pass out of danger. The pressure doesn't always equal goals and the Mountain Lions still maintain that one to nothing advantage off the first half, Vince free kick. Manalili will retreat. And make way for number 10, that's Bella Campos. Campos again played the first half, a freshman forward with four goals. Certainly a, a bright spot amongst bright spots for this Colorado School of Mines roster. Discussion there, and Wong, Ewan will throw in. 
Cleared wide. Barheit trying, keeps it in play, well done. Back for Freeman. Freeman for Barheit. Good pressure there from Campos. And then cleared forward, Freeman, and then back to Mines. About a minute and a half away from the 15 minute remaining mark. Mountain Lions have not been the better team, but thanks to a out of Vince effort in the first half, still maintain the lead. Good pressure, well won there. Out on the wing, that's Corbett, swings in. McDermott nudges it down, Whitmore collects. Mines have had a ton of success in the second half down that right-hand side. One or two efforts from the left, but the majority of the pressure has been from Manalili and others down on the right side. The turn there from Vince. Bar height. Vince, Freeman, Kinsey, and Wong Yuen. The three center back position for, excuse me, formation for this team in black and gold. Freeman looks for Vince, is able to turn. And he'll go out wide. Running down the sideline, Mountain Lions have some pressure here. Top of the box, shot on target. Not quite on target as Mines goalkeeper is setting up quickly. So some good pressure there as we enter the 76th minute of play. Mountain Lions, that's pretty much been the only offensive action in this second half. They've had flashes, and the first half was probably one of the better halves this Mines team has seen, but that's why you play all 90. Nice turn there down the line, Barheit. Barheit. Barheit into the box, but goalkeeper in the green. Will makes it the net for that one. Sophomore Wolf has been excellent. Had to face an incredibly tough shot from Vince, who put one into the very, very top corner. Barheit down the line, Campos trying to track. Barheit into the box, onto the right, into the box, swung in, and chipped into the back of the net. Oh my goodness, what an effort as Cindy Lassiter able to collect her second goal of the season, and the Mountain Lions are up two. A mountain lion goal after pressure all second half from Mines. As Abby Barheit was able to swing one in on the right foot, finds Sydney Lasseter who dinks Sadie Wolf on that far side. We'll take a look at the replay here. Barheit did well to drive and just flicked in by Lasseter. Wolf maybe thought it was going over. Lassiter and Barheit will embrace as they are combined for the second goal of the evening. Right back the other way, Campos driving well. Barheit's going to have a tough run here. Puts it out for a throw in. Barheit on in that captain's armband in the yellow. Ava Bar, Abby Barheit, excuse me, with her second assist on the year. Has four points. This one's kind of a free swing in for Klingman. Klingman, well done there defensively. And we'll go the other way. Cut out on the other end by Callie Fuhr. Jaden Ledoux had a bit of an effort. Look at that. Coverage from Ledoux. Great effort to force that long effort from the mines. That's what it's all about, putting pressure on that back line. Both teams have done just that 
at points during this game. Mountain Lions certainly did well in the first. And when they're able to put pressure on that back line, those passes come right back to the midfield of the opposing team. Great turn there, Laster back for bar height. The assist D on that next goal on her right foot. Swings to the left, bar height blocked well. And that one looked maybe like it hit the arm, but nothing doing, says the referee. Great physicality from the mind striker. This one, some great link up play and Mountain Lions have to force it forward. So a uh, 77th minute goal for the goal scorer, Sidney Lassiter. Give the assist to bar height. Mountain Lions are in a good, good spot as we near the 80 minute mark. Lions certainly are a team that can turn the tide quickly. Pushing forward here, and the referee will call that one as Levi won that one from the ground. Badu in front of that one. And we'll get a backup sentence from the ref. This one swung in. Back stick is mine. They had four offense up in the box, but that one, once again, beautifully cut out by Jade Kinsey. Not sure what more Kevin Fickus can do. The pressure's been there. The shots have been there. The mines have been so close on some of these efforts. Putnam's attempt at the end of the first half. Mana Lily's been threatening from that left wing all night. Into the box goes Corbett. Corbett trying to find passes. Mountain Lions, as soon as a Mines player is there, Ledoux able to collect. They are on to that one. Ledoux, nice turn. Up the left sideline attacking, and that touch will take it too far. But a free kick is won by the Mountain Lions. Much to the appreciation of their bench. So much intensity from both teams. You can see the nervous benches for both teams. As that one will go right into the bench, shaken up. Mountain Lion crowd has been excellent. They've been out in force tonight, homecoming weekend here on September 21st for the RMAC home opener. All right, we'll go to Freeman. Freeman wants something. Retreat now, well done. Levi out wide, big touch. Levi able to win it back. And now it'll be Corbett the other way. Outlines do an excellent job of tracking back. Bar height, Steinberg have done excellent. They've been up on the offense, bar height, obviously with that assist just a few minutes ago. They will track back as we will get three new Mines players entering the game. So it'll be number five, Gabby Guerrero. It'll be number 14, Paolo Rabi, Ruby, excuse me. And Caitlin Manalili once again, back in for the Mines. Kevin Fick has saw what Manalili and Ruby did kind of in those first 20, 25 minutes of the second half. Nice footwork there, Lasseter. Brimming with confidence after scoring that goal. Telling her second of the season. Mountain Lions looking forward. And look at the pace there. Mountain Lions able to get on the end of that one. Draws the defender into the box. And great defensive effort. 
as Kohler, Kaler is able to clear that one. Mountain Lions trying to get through the defense and push forward now. So the excellent pace down the line from the Mountain Lions says they were able to get on the end of that one and just as quickly transition back to play some defense. As we will get another substitution here on the front half of the field. So Emily Aguilar will enter once again. Aguilar was fantastic in the first half, putting pressure in the midfield area. Loose pass. Lasseter tries to pick it up. Mines does a good job of cleaning that one up. It'll be Klingman. Klingman out wide. Manalili now out on this left wing. Evan Fick is offering to try something new. Diving in there is Levi. Well done. Aguilar turns, looking for an option out to the left. We'll find Long Ewan. Ginsey. And. Now it'll go to Freeman. Freeman is just so calm in this back right, kind of center back, right back roll. Oh, wonderful turn there. Oh my goodness, Abby Barheit used the back heel to nutmeg the offense. Wonderful move from the red shirt junior. Abby Barheit drawing the assist in the 77th minute as Sidney Lasseter was able to tally a goal on a dink of the goalkeeper in just about five minutes remain. Mines certainly not down, certainly not out, but in a tough spot here against the home team. Well done there from Lasseter. Lasseter holds. We'll go back for Barheit. Barheit, beautiful pass up to the middle. And he'll go back out for Lasseter, who will take all the time and try and pick out a pass on the far side. Beautiful turn there as Rockwell is able to maintain possession. Aguilar will go backwards. This one swung in from Merlot, well cleared. Only as far as Levi and back for Barheit. Barheit cannot stop making moves on this Mines team. And that is just what you need right now. Home passing in the back. Your offense out on these wings, making moves, putting pressure on the defense. Wonderful turn there. Mountain Lions have been excellent closing out the second half. Look for a second like Mines might find an equalizer there. But Sydney Lasseter's attempt on goal nixed that and the tide has turned for the home team. Pass from Freeman. Mountain Lions just picking out teammates all across this field. Wonderful, wonderful turn there from Long Ewan. Now go for Levi. Now for Barheit, Abby Barheit. What can she do on this wing? Up for a short pass and we'll win a free kick as it's cleared by Natalie Rouse. You can see all the Mountain Lion crowd cheering on. Their friends and their team. This would be a heck of a way to open up this Armac season as able to draw the foul there, Sydney Lester on Klingman. Three minutes remain. Mountain Lions will certainly take their time with this one. And as the referee will almost certainly tell them when 
It's been enough time. Bella Campos over the ball. And Jade Kinsey will stand over this one. Go with the outswinger into the box with the right. Back corner. This one's chopped up into the air. And we're not able to quite put it in a dangerous spot. And we will get two substitutions for Mines. Is it too late though? Two minutes on the cusp here. Back in the game, Reese McDermott. And number 33, Laura Butler, but two minutes remaining you. Never want to say a team is out, especially a team like Mines, but they will need a monumental effort here as Mountain Lions have been fantastic here in the final 20. Well done there. Beautiful set of moves there by McDermott. Cut out by the Mountain Lions. Long Ewan will push this one back. And Mines will start to clear. Crowd getting antsy. Mountain Lions getting antsy to celebrate this one should they Continue the win, Abby Barheit will usher this one out for a goal kick. About one minute remaining in this one. Mountain Lions looking to pick up another home win. As Whitmore will take another look at this one. One minute remains in the RMAC home opener. Season opener, homecoming weekend. What a special time of year it is for this Mountain Lion program. And what a special win this would be for this Mountain Lion team. And the Mountain Lions will take it to the corner and almost certainly seal this one. Shot on target and had to force an effort out of Sadie Wolf. A wonderful strike from probably 30, 35 yards out. And the Mountain Lions will wrap this one up with a win as they will most likely not even take the, put the ball into play here. Nine, eight, so a free kick effort five, from Anna Vince in the first half in the 13th minute, put the Mountain Lions up one. Mountain Lions will celebrate this one. Sydney Lasseter. Puts the insurance goal on the board with the assist from Abby Barheit. And the Mountain Lions pick up a fantastic home win against a very, very strong conference opponent. Isabella Whitmore did something that no other goalkeeper has done against this Mines team, and that is keep a clean sheet. Mines, obviously with that high goal tally, and Whitmore has a clean sheet. That'll be her second of the season, picked one up in the season opener. But certainly none more big than this one. Mountain Lions back in action on Sunday, as we will get a little replay here. The first half goal on events, right-footed, all net. This one. Dangerous play, putting them, puts this one off the bar. Freeman puts her body on the line to keep it out. Manalili, so good down that right side. Puts one into the box, forced a save out of Isabella Whitmore. So you can see the scramble there. Once again, Mines had so much good pressure in the start of that second half. Looked like they might equalize some good efforts on net, driving, putting crosses in, forcing saves from the netminder, but at the end of the day, it was Abby Barheide assisting Sydney Laster, who dinks Sadie Wolf to give the Mountain Lions the advantage by two. We will say goodbye from Mountain Lions Stadium Mountain Lions are back in action on Sunday afternoon. That'll be noon mountain time as they face off in a homecoming weekend game against CSU Pueblo.
the visitors, the minds, will go on the road once again as they travel to Western Colorado. Excuse me, minds are at CSU Pueblo. And the Mountain Lions will play host once again to Western Colorado this weekend. From Mountain Lions Stadium here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, we say thank you for tuning in to the RMAC season opener. My name is Brian Gein, and for myself, all of our excellent camera crew, all of our staff here, we will say good night here from Mountain Lions Stadium, where the Mountain Lions pick up a huge home win in this one.